friends i hope you are all fine this ultrasound video shows hepatic hydrated cyst cholelithiasis and hepatic masses you can see the liver and a large hepatic cyst is seen in the upper portion of the left lobe of the liver now this mass is round over in shape as has a slightly turbid fluid in its interior and this mass measures about 6.2 cm into 6.2 cm no blood flow is seen the cyst has a fluid in its interior now you can see the stone in the gall bladder now these uh, hydratus disease in people is mainly caused by infection with larva larval group of dog tapeworm echinococcus granulosus it is an important pathogenic zoonotic and parasitic infection acquired from animals of humans following ingestion ingestion of tapeworm eggs excreted in the feces of infected dogs rupture of the hydrated cyst into the abdominal cavity is a rare complication of hydrated disease and causes serious problems and severe life threatening complications including anaphylaxis rupture can occur spontaneously or following a trauma hepatic hydrated disease is a parasitic disease now in the second video you will see the solid hepatic masses hydrated disease in people is mainly caused by infection with the larval larval stage of the dog tapeworm echinococcus granulosus it is an important pathogen pathogenic zoonotic that is it can occur from the animal to human being and is a parasitic infection that is acquired from animals following ingestion of tapeworm eggs excreted in the feces of the dogs now you are going to see the second video and it shows two masses semi solid to solid masses the masses are round to oval in shape or semi solid to solid in consistency now this these solid lesions are solid masses without the evidence of underlying liver diseases are usually identified as ad- incidental lesions on abdominal imaging performed to evaluate non specific abdominal pain or for other indications most of these lesions are not related to the symptoms that led to imaging liver lesions are a group of abnormal cells in the liver and your doctor may call them a mass or tumor non cancerous or benign liver lesions are common they do not spread to other areas of your body and do not usually cause any health issue but some liver lesions form as a result of cancer so these two lesions in the liver shows 
low significant blood flow in their anterior and these are homogeneous and these are homogeneous ecogenicity benign liver tumors are common they do not spread to other areas of the body and they usually do not pose a serious health risk hemangiomas is the most common form of benign liver tumors and these are the masses of abnormal blood vessels benign tumors are significantly less dangerous than the malignant tumors benign tumors by themselves are not life threatening hemangioma is the most common type of this these benign liver tumors and it occurs in 1 to 5% of adults signs and symptoms of the liver cancer weight loss without trying loss of appetite feeling very full after a small meal nausea or vomiting an enlarged liver felt as fullness under the ribs on the right side and enlarged spleen felt as fullness under the ribs on the left side pain in the abdomen belly or near the right shoulder blade you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching now you are going to see the size of these hepatic masses if you do like this video please click the like button and now you can see the size of the hepatic masses the one mass measures about 6.6 cm into 5.7 cm while the other measures about 4.6 cm into 4.3 cm thanks